What is the best ICT model that we could use? Well, in my opinion, it's when we have an immediate rebalance paired with a V-shape, and then we also have an inversion fair value gap. And if you don't know how that looks like or don't even know what it means, then I will definitely recommend watching all the way to the end of this video and as, as I'm going to cover step by step on how we can trade this ICT model. First of all, we have to talk about what a immediate rebalance is because that's what I use when finding the highest probability in version fair value gap setup. So right here we see that we have a media rebalance as price fails to make a fair value gap. So we see over here, this looks like a fair value gap from the low of this wick down to the high of this wick. Price creates this kind of gap, which is a fair value gap. But over here we see that price has the opportunity to create a fair value gap when this candle close, as we see from this wick up to this candle, price had the opportunity to create a fair value gap, but then instead price wick down, touching the high of this wick, and that means we no longer can anticipate a fair value gap. Then price creates an immediate rebalance, and when price creates an immediate rebalance, we could anticipate two expansion candles after that. And that we see we have right here. We have two expand expansion candles to the upside. Now we have to talk about that V shape. So a V shape, when price has fast sell side delivery, then fast buy side delivery, it often indicates that price is now willing to move higher, as it usually ends up in price creating a balanced price range. And when price creates a balanced price range, we know that there's going to be trapped shorts. And the algorithm don't want to give these trap shorts the opportunity to get out of the market. So then we could anticipate higher prices. If you don't know what a inversion fair value gap is, then I would recommend watching the video I made about inversion fair value gaps. Also watching the YouTube playlist I made about it, as then you would get a kind of overview of what you need to know about the inversion fair value gap and also the kind of models that you could pair with a inversion fair value gap. For the first example, we're now going to break down step by step on how we can combine these three ICT concepts with each other and get a successful result. First of all, we have to see what price is reaching for. So right here we see price tapped up into the equilibrium of the range. And we also had a fair value gap above the equilibrium of the range. That means this fair value gap is within a premium. And when a fair value gap is within a premium, we can anticipate price most likely going to respect that fair value gap, depending, of course, what the bias is. Now, a confirmation that price is willing to move lower, we can use a immediate rebalance. So right here we see that we had a potential immediate rebalance. But then price disrespected that immediate rebalance as we saw we didn't get two expansion candles to the upside. And that means we can now anticipate price moving lower. And another confirmation for that is this immediate rebalance within here. As we see, price get two expansion candles going lower from that immediate rebalance. So we got a failed immediate rebalance that then turned into a successful immediate rebalance. And to me, that pretty much shows us where price is most likely going to reach for. And what do we also have? We have this kind of V-shape just opposite, as we see within here. So already we have two confirmations that price is most likely willing to move lower. Now, where is the inversion fair value gap? Well, we when we have got these confirmations, we can now start looking for that inversion fair value gap setup. And within here, we have a singular inversion fair value gap and internal range liquidity, which is this intermediate term low, has yet not to be reached. So this is a pretty clear trend entry where we are going to short when price makes the retracement up into that inversion fair value gap. Then we're going to put our stop loss at the close. So when price closes above that inversion fair value gap, we can then exit the trade entry. So let's just say around here. And then we're going to target the internal range liquidity. So that's how we can really pair these two ICC concepts with the inversion fair value gap model. For another example, we see that price ran 
buy side liquidity, also creating that kind of V shape just opposite. Then price closed below this inversion fair value gap. After that, made a retracement and then expanded lower. But we don't really have any form of immediate rebalance to confirm the price is willing to move lower. So then we see price create this inversion fair value gap. And we also see that price created a immediate rebalance right above that. So then the confirmation that price is willing to move lower is that we get an expansion candle closing below the inversion fair value gap, also confirming that price is willing to expand lower from that immediate rebalance. So this inversion fair value gap is really where we got all the confirmations that price is now willing to move lower. So in that case, we could take a trade entry at the close, put our stop loss when price is going to close above that inversion fair value gap, and then we could target internal range liquidity as a break-even target. So that means when price takes out internal range liquidity, then we're going to put our stop loss at break-even. And then we could, of course, also target to risk reward ratio, or if there's any sell side liquidity. As we see, we actually have one all the way down here. So that's how we also can use a media rebalance, expanding lower, creating a inversion fair value gap as a confirmation tool. We also saw the price made this V shape to the upside, but then why would price move lower, giving the trap shorts an opportunity to get out of the market? Well, we saw the price ran the buy side liquidity, and we know there's going to be stop losses above buy side liquidity. So that means we could actually anticipate these trap shorts to be gone, and then giving the opportunity for smart money to get within the market and sending price lower. As we see, we got these two expansion candles after that immediate rebalance, and also when price inverse this inversion fair value gap. Now a bullish example, we see the price swept sell side liquidity. Also over here. So that means we now can anticipate price moving higher. And that's where we now want to use the failed media rebalance and also the V-shape as confirmation that price is now willing to move higher. And as you see right here, right when price sweep the sell side liquidity, price makes a immediate rebalance. But we don't get those two expansion candles. That means we can now anticipate price moving higher. And we also see we have that kind of V-shape. So that means there's now also trap shorts within the market. Then price creates this inversion fair value gap. But instead of creating a balanced price range where price creates a busy, we create a immediate rebalance. So that now gives confirmation that price is willing to move higher. And we see that wick down to the high of this wick right there, touch the consequent encouragement of that inversion fair value gap. So now we have a successful immediate rebalance. And that means we can anticipate higher prices going all the way up to this internal range liquidity. So if we were to take a trade entry, we could enter right when price touched the high of this wick of the immediate rebalance, as it is paired with the consequent encouragement of that inversion fair value gap. Then put our stop loss at this low, as we can anticipate this being the smart money reversal. And then target the internal range liquidity also where we make the market structure shift. And if we zoom out, we can see that this goes from a market maker sell model to then a market maker buy model going higher. We really just used immediate rebalances as a confirmation tool for this example. As we saw price ran the sell side liquidity, then right after that, we got a immediate rebalance. And when price creates a immediate rebalance, we can anticipate the next two candles to be expansion candles. But that we saw price fail to. And that means we can now anticipate higher prices. Then after that, at this candle close, we got that V shape, which is a confirmation for higher prices as we got trap shorts. But instead of price creating a busy, and that means we got a balanced price range, price created a immediate rebalance, which means we can anticipate price not making a retracement down into this inversion fair value gap as we created a immediate rebalance. 
and then right after that we got a downclose candle, then an expansion candle. And we could use this downclose candle as support to the upside. This immediate rebalance was really just the last confirmation that price was willing to move higher. As we know when price created that V-shape, we usually create a balanced price range. But instead, price made a retracement into the inversion fair value gap, where we could anticipate a reaction to the upside, and also created an immediate rebalance. So that means price should absolutely make no retracement down to this area and only move higher. 